in this video, I'm going to show you how to make pepper soup jollof rice. I have fallen so deeply in love with pepper soup spice lately because of its unique taste and flavor. Now, just in case you don't know what it is, pepper soup spice is a spice blend made of locally sourced nuts, seeds and spices. It is used mostly for making pepper soups in Nigeria, but I have found another way to put it to good use and I'm going to show you the recipe today. For this, you will need some washed rice, tomato and pepper blend, onion strips, smoked fish, also known as ejakika, some bleached oil, vegetable oil, pepper soup spice of course, some all-purpose seasoning, garlic paste and some salt to taste. The full ingredient list will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out, okay? Start by grabbing the bleached oil and add to the pan along with the vegetable oil. I use a combination of oils because I like the flavor that it gives, but feel free to use any oil of your choice. Then grab the onion strips and transfer to the pot as well. And stir fry for a few seconds. I added my green chili pepper sauce. I'll leave a link in the description box down below on how I made this beautiful chili pepper sauce. But again, you can use any fresh pepper sauce of your choice or any fresh pepper of your choice if you don't want to use the green chili pepper sauce, okay? I also added some garlic paste as well. Now stir to combine and continue to stir fry for a further 10 seconds. All purple seasoning goes in next. Next, add the pepper soup spice and stir fry for another minute to wake up the spices. Again, I have a link in the description box down below showing how I make my all purple seasoning at home. But if you don't want to use my all purple seasoning, you can go ahead and use any seasoning of your choice. Then add the tomato pepper blend mix. And in this blend, I have some tomatoes, tatashi, and onions. Mix to combine. Season with some salt. Then cover the pot and allow to cook for about 8 minutes or until the water content dries out and the oil sizzles on top of it. At this point, it is perfectly fried. Add the smoked fish. Then cover again and leave to simmer for an extra 2 minutes. Afterwards, pour in the washed rice. Mix to combine before adding the water or stock. Now move things around gently but do not stir at this time. If not, the rice might burn. Cover the pot, reduce the heat to the lowest and allow to cook for 20 to 25 minutes or until the rice is tender. After cooking, open up the pot and mix to combine. Now I noticed that mine still had some water content in it. So I covered the pot again and let it cook for a few more minutes to soften the rice completely. When the rice is perfectly cooked, you can add some vegetables at this point if you like. Scent leaves will do wonders as well because scent leaves pairs so well with pepper soup spice. But I didn't have any at home so I'm just going to leave it as, as is at this point. So take it off the heat and serve on a plate. Now guys, don't knock off this recipe until you try it, okay? The flavors contained in here are so amazing and this is one recipe you would always want to make over and over and over again. If you found this video interesting, please do not forget to give us a like and then share with your family and friends so that they too can learn something new as well. 
also subscribe to the channel and then click the bell just right beside the subscribe button so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video all right guys my job here is done i'll see you next time with another mouth watering and delicious quick fix recipe until then remember to be very kind to one another love yourselves generously and it's me the queen of fun and fast cooking signing out right now take care guys <laughs>